Time now for final exam, where our incisive questions will separate the wheat from the chaff, those who've been paying attention to those who have not been. This week's defending champion, Fox News weekend anchor Elizabeth Pran, who undid Peter Ducey after his short reign last week. Her challenger tonight, Brett Larson, Fox News headlines 24-7 anchor, a frequent tech correspondent for the show, and an excellent one. Does he have time to pay attention to the news? We're about to find out. <laughs> that, by the way, is the coveted Eric Does he have time Eric to pay Wemple attention mug. to this? <laughs> he I'm may win it. that. The I'm winner gets it. that. All right. You, you know the rules, Elizabeth, because you're the reigning champion. Brett, oh. I'm sure you're a weekly... Uh, viewer of this, but in case those at home don't know, hands on buzzers. I ask the questions. First one to buzz in gets to answer. You have to wait until I finish asking the question in order to answer it. Each correct answer is worth one point. Each incorrect answer detracts a point from your total. Best of five wins. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. All right. Question <laughs> one. We're going to start with a complex one. Uh -oh. Multiple choice. Oh, okay. Good. President Trump has revealed his nickname for former President Barack Obama. Is that nickname A, Mr. Nice Guy Obama, B, Crafty Obama, or C, Cheatin' Obama? I have no idea. Oh, I'm going to go with cheating Obama. You're going to go with cheating Obama. Cheatin. Yeah. Cheatin. N apostrophe Obama. Is Mr. Larson correct? Roll tape. Thank you to Rasmussen for the honest polling. Just hit 50%, which is higher than <gasps> cheating oh, Obama what? at the same time in his okay. administration. Okay, that's... <laughs> so what does that mean? We're not going to ask. just beginner's what? luck. <laughs> I didn't know. I really didn't know. I did very well in multiple choice in high school. Yeah, that's oh. how I the SAT I mean, I would have guessed it, but Question I know two. It. A CNN reporter went off the deep end this week and started yelling in front of kids at the White House Easter egg roll. Which reporter was that? Was with Brian. Jim Acosta. Jim Acosta, chief White House correspondent at CNN. Was it Jim Acosta, ladies and gentlemen? Right. Chief White House correspondent Jim Acosta facing some backlash okay. for so shouting questions right. about killing to... DACA oh, yeah, yeah, at yes, President please. Trump while he was coloring with his son. President, what about the DACA? What about what's going to happen? Didn't you kill DACA, sir? Didn't you kill DACA? Did you kill you know, DACA? Guilty of killing DACA. The, the Easter egg degree. roll can be a very emotionally charged it event. <laughs> yes, it's it can. Lying. The there's bunny, kids. the glasses. There's a bunny that looks very good. Yeah, especially when there's a DACA murderer on the loose. <laughs> yeah. Someone needs to call him to justice. Jim Acosta did. Question three, another multiple choice. Oh. Scientists just announced a major discovery overseas. Footprints belonging to massive extinct dinosaurs, some as long as 50 feet, were found in which country? Was it A, Scotland, B, Spain, or C, Sweden? Brett. Scotland. Scotland? You don't think it would be Sweden? Let's no. find out. Well, that was pretty certain. Scientists say they've discovered dinosaur prints, footprints in Scotland, found dozens oh. of fossils that belong to the early sauropods, wow. the largest animal to ever roam the earth. The, 49 uh, feet long. 10 tons in weight. Step up my game. The sauropod, a fan of beer. Oh, what? That was found in Scotland. Are you I'm impressed. I am Nessie <laughs> Prince. Wow, okay. Question, hold on tightly, uh, Elizabeth Prince. Jeez. Two to one. Question four. Steven Spielberg says he may reboot, remake one of his big 1980s franchises and change the iconic male lead to a female. Which well-known character is he talking about? Brett Larson. Indiana Jones. You're in fuego tonight. Yes, Indiana Jones, are. no hesitation at all. Was it Indiana Jones or is it E.T.? We'll find out. Big time Hollywood director Steven Spielberg says it's time for a woman to play one of his most iconic movie characters. I thought it would be too Spielberg later, believes but... Indiana Jones is ready to take on a new form when Harrison Ford steps away from the role. Uh, I just wow. don't know if you can, can it be, would it be a skirt? Like, how would that work? Well, that's right. Well, they really the question the should have been phrased, having run out of any new ideas coming. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. Right. E.T. doesn't phone home anymore. He sends a text message. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> By way Creepy of little guy. Yeah. 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 All right, final question <laughs> of the contest in Deed of the Week. Oh, no. This is one of the weirder stories we've ever covered, okay. covered with quotation marks around it. Zombie-like animals have been terrorizing residents in the Mahoning Valley of Ohio standing on their hind legs, baring their teeth. This behavior has prompted a police investigation. Which type of animal has been seen with these zombie-like symptoms? <laughs> Brett Lars? Oh, my God. Uh, raccoons. Raccoons? Zombie raccoons. Oh, my God. I don't know if that can be right. Let's roll the tape. Mm. 
zombie raccoons. Oh. In the past week, Youngstown police responded to more than a dozen you know, calls of bizarre I, behavior I, during the day viewer. by these ordinary <laughs> raccoon raccoon critters. Viewer. According to one eyewitness, a raccoon has walked up to him as he walked his dog, <laughs> reared up on his hind legs, scary. and then poised to attack, abruptly fell back as though having a seizure. Zombie raccoons. raccoons. I know that actually me. was going to be the Steven Spielberg movie. <laughs> Zombie raccoons. <laughs> that would rate. You know? And by the way, all those wildlife experts you have never Jones seen during the day totally skirt. fall. Elizabeth Fran, you were a fantastic oh, wow. champion for a week. Did you Brett. throw it on purpose? Brett, we may we, have discussed uh, this. Elizabeth's going to award you the I know, I'm coveted going to mug. Because oh. I got one right. Oh my gosh. I'm a little embarrassed. It takes a lot of I'd like to thank the Academy. And all the little people. I'd like to thank the 24 7 We will see you next week. Brett Larson, congratulations. Oh, and I'd like to thank Elizabeth Pran. Elizabeth, or, uh, you are always welcome back, just on uh, principle. Uh, That's it for tonight's <laughs> final exam. I'm not sure what principle.